What are these red painted areas that you see across some roads in Australia? I'm Omid, a Queensland Transport Interpreter and Driving Instructor in Brisbane. So why red? There are a few reasons why. First, because red is the color that triggers alertness. Second, because red is the color that captures attention. And the third reason, because red is the most visible color after yellow. And what are these red painted areas exactly and what is their purpose? These red painted areas are a kind of pavement marking and they are used to guide traffic, give advance warning, or apply a road rule. Anytime you come across these areas, you need to be alerted. You need to know something is going on, something is changing, and look for the signs to find out what those changes are. For example, this red painted area is followed by a local traffic only sign, which is meant to guide traffic in this area. And as you know, it means that if you don't live here, if you are not local to this area, do not drive past this sign. And just on a side note, this vehicle, while I was shooting this video, did a wrong U-turn. And I just wanted to bring that to your attention that we do not do a U-turn like that. And in here, in addition to local traffic only sign, there is a speed limit area sign as well, which indicates that you must not drive faster than 40 k an hour in this area. And in this area, the speed limit is 50, so it's not always 40 as some people might think. And sometimes you might see just a speed limit sign like here. And this sign is a shared zone sign and indicates that the pedestrians have total priority over all other traffic and uh, vehicles must not travel faster than 40 km an hour in this area. And sometimes there might not be any signs at all, like here, and it just uh, means that we have to be extra cautious when we enter this road. And never, by the way, do a right turn like this vehicle, otherwise you will fail your test. The red color is also used to highlight the school zone, and it's usually followed by a speed limit sign as well. In here, we are being warned that there are speed bumps in this area and we better not drive more than 20 k an hour when we reach them. Flat top speed bumps are also painted red and they come in two forms. One with white color around them like this and the other type is with yellow color around them like this. and road narrowings that are designed to control the traffic are also painted red. The common mistake that some drivers do is that they think they are not allowed to stop on these red painted areas. So when they approach these areas and they are meant to give way to the other vehicles, they stop behind the yellow line, which is wrong. It is absolutely fine to stop on these red painted areas and the proper way is to approach these areas with caution and stop behind the white line and give way to other vehicles and then go to the direction that you want to go. And the last but not the least important point is that these areas are not to be confused with pedestrian crossing and drivers don't have to give way to pedestrians. But drivers should exercise caution when pedestrians are crossing the road. If you like to see more videos like this, you can go to my website emudrivingschool.com and then come to the middle of the homepage and in this section enter your email address, your first name and select your language, English or other and subscribe to my channel to be notified of the future videos as soon as they come out. Thank you. Driving in Australia is easy when you know the rules.